Good morning, Keller Williams. Welcome back to the marketing mini series of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Today, we are going to take your postcard that you made yesterday where you are directly targeting an area, you're farming an area. Um, I'm going to show you how to send direct mail with that postcard today. So the first thing we're going to do is go into campaigns and we're going to click create campaign and direct mail. So I always name mine so I can go back and see history. Um, so in this specific example, I am farming an area called Harriman. So I'm just going to put Harriman Hills, February. And then I'm just going to put it in the other category and then I'm going to click create campaign. So first thing that pops up is your content. So I just want to talk to you about this really quick. So if you had not gone and previously made something, you can go and click select template, find a template, go in there, make one, or you can go upload a design. So yesterday we went in and created a design we can go in and download that and upload it. Couple of things that I wanna point out is if you ever get any errors in designs when you're going in and uploading images that you've gone in and created, look at the sizes. So if for some reason you go and upload something and it says, this is too big, this is the wrong size, take your image and use a different program that allows you to resize your image and put in that exact size and then you'll be good to go. So what's nice about this is if there is an error, it will tell you exactly what the error is. So I'm going to go and download the front page of my design and I'm going to go click the back and then do the back page of my design. Okay. And then I'm going to go click save. And the next section is my market center. So this will show, this is basically the return address. So your market center will populate. You just have to go in and plug in um, state and zip code. And then it might give you a different address to confirm. Okay, so local targeting. In this example, because we're farming an area, I'm not gonna use target my database. I'm going to do local targeting around an address. So in this example, to lead generate in this neighborhood, I am going to plug in an address in the neighborhood. It could be a house I sold, it could be a house I saw someone else sell, but I know values are going up in that neighborhood. I want to be able to market to that area. So I went in and found an address, um, and so I'm just gonna go plug it in. This is a fairly new neighborhood. And Utah, we always have these coordinates, so that makes it fun. Caballo Cove, okay. And then it's Herman. And I believe that's 84096, let me confirm. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna go click save. And then last thing, but I can change this later, is how many cards do I want to send out? Um, I'm just going to keep it at 200. Standard is 82 cents a card. Um, save. Okay. If I need to go do something and come back to this, I can click save. Otherwise, I am going to click configure and go to the next page, which is targeting. And it will just make the campaign so I requested 200 cards and what it does is it plots the subject property and said, okay, here's 200 homes. Um, why I love this is that I get to pick if I need to filter out any homes. Maybe there is, I don't think there is in this neighborhood, but let's say there's a lot of multifamily units and that's not the homes that I'm targeting. I can go just select single family and you'll see it doesn't change much, but that could be something. Um, maybe I want to, there's a 
big section of houses that are high square footage and the ones I'm looking at are more low square footage. Well, I can go and change this toggle that I don't want anything more than 3,800. And again, that's not a good example in this neighborhood because that is the size of most of these houses. Um, but you can see I can filter out houses. And then I'm going to send a copy to my company address. If I'm not in this neighborhood and I'm not in this sample, this allows me to get a copy of the postcard, see the print quality, just know what um, went out. And so I'm just gonna go to the next page. Always wait, my only rule with this is always wait for the preview to load. This is why. I am very familiar with designs, so I thought I did a pretty good job. However, you never know, especially when you're making custom designs, if this is going to look weird or cut off as far as the postage is concerned. So always make sure it loads, make sure there's nothing that looks weird or pixelated or in the wrong spot. So sometimes that'll take a, a minute to load. Please make sure you wait and preview that. And then you're just going to put in your email, your card number, click make a payment. And you guys can see right here, I'm gonna close this camera. Um, same day processing, distribution. Usually I say plan on seven days for it to get, you know, printed through circulation, probably in mailboxes within, um, I think it says right here. And I can't see it because four to six business days is what it says. So um, that is I feel like it's kind of crazy to point it out, but that's as easy as it is to send direct mail through um, command. And you did that postcard pretty quick and now you've targeted a neighborhood and you could go in here. And my suggestion is to time block your content, right? So maybe go plan out a quarter's worth of direct mail that you're going to farm in that neighborhood. You can go upload these and say Harriman Hills February, Harriman Hills March, Harriman Hills April, save them in there. And then you can go in and just process it when you're ready to send. Um, I think that is a great suggestion for agents because we're so busy, we're so on the go and um, getting that content done in a specific day or time and then set it and forget it is um, one of the best suggestions I can give you. So. Tomorrow, we're going to be creating something else, implementing it. Hopefully, you guys are getting used to the process, but um, I am excited to keep giving you marketing ideas, and we will see you tomorrow.